Hello dear friends of Romantic Wings. Today we have episode 4 of my Mill Mi2 helicopter and this time it's version 0 0.9 and I have integrated a lot of changes and you will see when you download it and uh, in the video. The video is in two parts. The first part is an instruction how to install it and uh, I've seen many errors uh, in the forum and uh, the second part is a short flight with a new livery of the Polish Navy. So have a lot of fun. So let's have a look inside the archive pack when you have downloaded and opened it. Disregard the pictures coming with the pack, we don't need them now. First thing to do is to copy the Airland FS config to your installed Airland FS folder. Mine is in the community folder. Copy it. Ah, first error. I copied it directly into the root folder. It has to go into the profiles folder. Okay, there it is now. Next is the main package folder, BK Aircraft MI2 Hoplite. It has to go directly into your community folder. If there's already an older version, just override it. Or you can beforehand delete it if you want. What else do we have? There's a livery template GIMP folder. If you are a repainter, you can use these files to create new liveries. Click on the eye of the wireframe tab on top to make the UV map visible. Increase opacity to make it clearly visible. Now you see it. That's our helicopter. <laughs> Click on the plus sign to see the different color layers. You can add your own new layers here. When you are done, Make the UV map invisible, save your file and export it in the required format. JPEG or whatever. Please read the README file. It has valuable information for you concerning 0.9 and the metallic effects. Now let's have a look at the metallic livery changing. This is the standard helicopter with a non-metallic painting. but I prepared it for metallic painting.
Stop the simulator and open your community folder again. Navigate to the BK Mi2 helicopter and open it and go down to textures. Now we have one more folder to explore. It's the Livery Metallic Change folder. In the subfolder Shiny we have all the textures needed to create a metallic look. Select all and copy them to your MI2 texture folder. or any other repaint folder. In the subfolder MUT we have all the textures needed to remove the metallic look again. Use them if you don't like the metallic look. Now let's start the simulator again and check the metallic look. <coughs> Sorry. So here we are. We are back in our standard livery, but this time with a shiny metallic look. You see the gloss? Metallic. Let's stop the engines and watch the crew how proud they are with this shiny livery and their brand new helmets. I have to get used to this Xbox controller. <laughs> See how proud they are? <laughs> also the medical doctor has its helmet, but where is he? <laughs> Where is Doctor? Ah, there he is. You don't like the metallic effect? Just copy the yellow mud files back to remove the red shiny ones. See, that's the shiny one, red, and now we copy all the yellow back again. Override, and it's done. Yellow. This was a nice hint from Cafair with a metallic effect. 
Now let's stretch the legs a bit and follow me on my flight in VR with the new Polish Navy livery to deliver a box to a ship at sea. External tank and the hoist is needed. We give it a 15 meters line and attach a box to it. So L and FS is loaded, release the parking brake and off we go. Just to check. There's our ship. They need spare parts. Where can we put the box? There are so many antenna wires. Between the funnels, huh? There's the box. Ooh, wow, wow. Let's try again from this side. Still attach the box. <laughs> yes.
Let's pretend we delivered the box. <laughs> okay, it's gone now. So we are down. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the new package. Shendobri.